Hey, what's up, everybody? Here to bring you another review, and it's of the Sentinel Reedit Iron Man 12, The House of M armor. Let's get started. Uh, I started off with him not fully equipped with his armor because we're going to go off the articulation, the things on the back, things that make him different and stand out from other Iron Men, you know, things like that. So, uh, real quick, I want to start by saying, honestly, uh, sculpting and design wise, this is the most radically different outside of the shape changing armor or the black and gold. It's just something that strays away from something that was done even differently in the comic books. This is based off the anime version of Iron Man with the House of M armor, and it's really nice. It's really nice. Pictures, videos, no matter what I do, it just won't do this enough justice. That Sentinel went out of their way to take and do something that's really, really dope and different and make it even cooler. Now, as far as articulation goes, the leg actually comes up pretty far because, as you know, they make it design-wise so that way you can actually have a beast of articulation and level. So the leg's actually double-jointed. goes up pretty high. The ankle pivot goes all the way out and can ro all rotate all the way in alternatively and it goes forward but not pretty far back but it goes forward enough that you can actually get the bang for your buck with this uh the leg actually goes on th this far out which is actually pretty far so you actually can do a rider kick with this iron man if you want to be one of those guys like i am so. so as you can see so there's plenty of forms of articulation that you can do and just like that i pushed a little too far so the joint piece came out this is something that uh, Sentinel allows you to just pop right back in. It's no big deal. And voila, just like that, it's in. So it's not something you should actually worry about. The ankle pivot is actually a nice and pleasant surprise because this Iron Man is really, really back heavy. So that's something you actually want to be aware of. The arms rotate on a ball joint that rotate around in a slight 360 degrees that rotate all the way through. Well, there's only one issue, and the reason why I had to pause because the shoulder plate actually folds in when you're rotating the arm up. You really got to be careful because to get this arm, to get the arm to come up like this, you need to rotate it in and then rotate down. That way you can get pretty far up. There's bicep swivel. The arms are double jointed. It's really nice. There is a lot of articulation here. The ab crunch is really nice. It goes really far forward. And again, like I said, it being back heavy is something you want to definitely be aware of and not uh fool yourself with the backpack is really large and it's really nice now as far as head articulation this is where the problem begins you can actually look down pretty well but you can't look really far up that's because the backside is actually hindered by the back of the helmet so looking up is non-existent so you'd have to raise the torso up for him to look like he's actually looking up the other reason being is that there's circuits inside of the torso of the body so you have to be a little careful there you cannot take the head off. Please do not take the head off. It's as stated with most of the Sentinel re-edit stuff. Do not attempt to take the head off because with that, you will rip out the circuitry that is meant for the LEDs. Same thing for the torso. You can't be too crazy. Try to rip that off. Now, we're going to switch over to the, the backside of this Iron Man because this is where a lot of the magic happens. Let me see if I can get my light to come over. And There we go. So, on the backside, you can actually take these out. Uh, so you take these out and there's tiny ball joints here, which allow you for the movements of these back panels. And this design is actually uh, more different than other designs because it's based off the, the I want to say anime version of Tony Stark, which is uh, what Marvel decided to base this off of. It's Tony Stark as an anime character making a design armor. And I think my ball joint might have come a little loose. But yeah, I might have to glue that. It might have come out and been really loose. Because I might have been playing with it a little too much. So I'm going to take that off, actually. I'm going to take this one off as well. And as you can see, the ball joints are there. And honestly, from the way it's looking now, it looks like they were glued in. And the ball joints aren't meant to come back out. So it looks like this one might end up being on permanent display. Uh, take the back pieces off, depending on how I feel about it. I may just end up fixing it. But on the back side, what you want to do is you want to open up his pack. And you can reveal that there are actually thruster pieces now i took the backpack piece off because i want to show you something the backpack actually connects in so you can see the other extra detail but the reason why i'm taking it off and i left it off is for two things one the tiny tiny light switch right here which says off and on you actually cut it on oh man what i do with my toothpick actually let's use a acba stand I gently cut that on 
And as you can see, it allows for Iron Man's chest and, and head to light up. It lights up the top of the repulsors, the eyes, and the chest. It's really hard to see without any lighting, but as you can see, it actually lights it up really, really well. It looks really good. I'm enjoying that. Uh, I'm actually going to leave it on for a bit. Because there's actually a ton to cover in this. So there's no point. I'm going to leave those off. Now, here's where the thing starts because it gets a little back heavy. Because I took the part out, you have to rotate these back down. And please make sure they're properly aligned up with the gap that you see there. And there's a reason why it's going to be that way. You want to make sure they align properly. Put that back that way. Because next up, we're going to go over Iron Man's backpack. The backpack clips into the back. There's actually an interchangeable slot piece here. So you can actually rotate these verniers up. So you can show it closed or you can show it open. I'm going to leave mine's open. I like the way this looks. Also, when you wiggle these out, there's little micro missiles feature right here on the sides. The wings or the verniers or engines, whatever it is, the turbines, whatever it is you want to call them, actually rotate at a really nice level. They go up and down slightly but they rotate at a full 360 degrees. So on the front side, you have the beginning of his turbines. And on the back side, there's the verniers, which are really, really nice. Easily when you remove the pod, you'll see that there's a battery pack here. And the reason why it is because there's also the light switch here for this one, which you turn on, they light up the back side. So again, pictures won't ever do this enough justice to the point where you go, you know, hey, why is that there? Why is that so big? Simply because LEDs are really nice, even when small placed. Then there is the rivet line for his machine gun. You can actually place it right here through the side. Easily comes in, easily is out. Real quick, I want to pop it through the back side. There are three openings. One here. Oop, make sure the light is on it. There's one on each side and one in the middle. And the reason why I said that you wish to align them properly is that when lined up properly, they insert very easily, and they attach to Iron Man very well. So now you have it on Iron Man, and it's just fine. And this is why I said the ankle pivot is going to come in handy, because being that it's back heavy, if you don't want to use a stand, making sure that he positions himself perfectly is actually going to be a big deal. Because the torso can't really support the weight on its own, and I want to talk about that. Because as you can see, it'll show him leaning back. There's no amount of force you can use properly that if it weighs the torso down, he's going to come down. So you have to find a way to even that out, which is obviously where this comes in. His giant line barrel gun. Now, this can attach to either arm, but I'm normally going to attach it to the right arm. And as you can see, it plugs into the set right here, right under the arm. Really well. What you do is, there's going to be an opening right here. You place the machine gun turrets there. You align it gently. Oop, let me get this arm down. You align it gently right here. And voila. Now you have Iron Man and his gun. Normally this stabilizes him really well, but that's not always the case. And that's why Iron Man comes with a stand. So in case you want to put him on a stand, that's easily possible. He looks really good with the line barrel weapon. Rotated just fine. As you can see, it actually holds nowhere near as much weight as the backpack. So Iron Man has no issue holding it. So it's one of those things. Iron Man also comes with a shield. I'm going to equip that now. The same way when you place the gun, there'll be a little slit here. You just place that in. Ooh, voila. Almost snapped the ball joint right out. Being a little too strong, so I apologize for that. And voila. Iron Man looks really nice. Now, again, the whole him standing thing, it's going to be issues with that. Because he's a little bit of back heavy. And by little bit, I mean a ton. It's really, really back heavy. So him standing up on his own, it's quite difficult, but not impossible. As you can see, I got him to do it right there. Being well lit, being up. And if you don't feel like running the risk of him being back heavy, Iron Man actually comes with a stand. This nice display base that you attach here. You can rotate it here. And I'm going to leave him on this for a second. So that way you don't have to worry. Display base actually goes right behind the backpack. So it'll help you keep him standing up just fine. And I'm going to leave him on there as he looks really cool. Now, alternatively, Iron Man also comes with... Let me take this off. I'm going to take off his shield, actually. 
First, we're going to remove the shield off the ball joint. Wiggle this out. Now, alternatively, if you don't want Iron Man to have any of the armor accessories like the gun, backpack, you just want the turbines, he actually has two repulsor cannons. As soon as I find the other one. Oh, there we go. He actually has two repulsor cannons. They don't light up or anything like that. But they can attach on his forearm like this and look really cool as accessories. They can go on either side, both sides at the same time. Whichever one you like to do, they snap on actually quite easily. Iron Man also comes with a ton of hands like almost all Iron Men. So you get the open repulsor blast hands. These are open and can also look like they're reaching out hands or just high five hands, things like that. Then you have salute hands, chop hands, whatever it is you want to call them. Just regular, or you can call them flight hands, whichever one you want to do. Then we have actual relaxed Iron Man hands. These ones are actually pretty cool because they're nice and relaxed. Then you have actual repulsor hands, which these are the bread and butter of Iron Man when you want to do repulsor blasts and things like that. You know, or you can aim for Dr. Doom hands, whatever it is you want to do. Those hands are there. Now, like all Sentinel Iron Man stuff, they give you these Hall of Armors. Normally, I don't show these off, but I figured it's been a while since I've done a re-edit, so I'll show you guys to remind you that almost all of these guys come with it. They're really nice. And below them, there's a chain link base that allows you to link it up to the other Sentinel Iron Man stuff. So don't worry about it. If you have all the other ones, they chain up and they connect. Really nice, actually. Real quick, I'm going to take off his backpack. I'm actually going to leave the gun in, but I am going to take off the backpack. So to show you guys a display of what he looks like next to other stuff, the Sentinel stuff is actually much, much larger than other types of figures. So it's one of those things where, you know, he doesn't fit in well. So normally he's a standalone character in most people's photos. But with some forced perspective, you can actually, you know, do some nice things with it. First off, I'm going to do is I'm going to compare him to an SHF Iron Man. I don't think I own any, uh, any one of the Marvel Legends stuff, but yeah. As you can see, he completely and utterly towers over this Iron Man. So it's one of those things where you go, okay, I know what I'm getting into at this point. He's actually quite larger, like I said. Here he is next to Figma Deku, which he completely and utterly towers over as well. So again, you know what you're getting into. Here he is next to a Marvel Legend. A little Hydra guy. Towers over it, even when I'm standing in front of it. Here he is next to a random SHF, which is... My final form, Kazuma, and he makes Kazuma look extremely tiny. And I think that somewhere I have a mess code. Give me one second while I try to find one. Oh, actually, I have one right here in the bin, so I can take him out real fast. Because if you don't compare it to a mess code, everyone's going to be mad at you. Here he is next to Frank Castle. And as you can see, he's covered in some hair. But yeah, size-wise, none of this, nothing compares with the Sentinel stuff. They are more like a, a one-tenth, one-ninth scale. But they're not one of those things where it's going to fit in with one twelve scale stuff or even American stuff. But they look absolutely fantastic. They function really well. And they have an LED option. The price point being really expensive, though, at, at damn near 300 bucks, it's one of those things where if you're already collecting a line, you know what you're getting into and price isn't a problem. Or you're trying to get this because you're new to it and you're going, damn, this is really expensive. So you have to ask yourself, if you really love Iron Man and you feel like you need it, Absolutely, you should get it. If you don't know what you're doing, stay away from this line. It's as simple as that. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And hope you're drinking your water. Be good. Do good. Check you later.